this is interface of the uh, game orders come from here and uh, these are rejected jobs if WIP if maximum WIP does not allow it that we will learn about it later then some jobs will be rejected and these are jobs which have been accepted uh, during the game we need to add these two to find the total demand but now because this is zero i'll go here and i see this data i can go over there click and download it or i can go here and just mark the data and paste it into excel but uh, this way is easier open and this is the data and that is what i have imported it here i have hidden this part from row 17 to row 48 18 to 47 is hidden this is my actual data and exponential smoothing simply says demand for next period is equal to demand for this period plus something the difference between actual for this period and forecast for this period multiplied by a number between zero and one alpha if i do a little bit manipulation here i can also write ft plus one is equal to one minus alpha ft plus alpha 80. both of these two equations are correct I usually use this one. So I start with an arbitrary alpha. I set the forecast of the first period equal to actual of the first period. Then I will go to period two and I write my equation one minus alpha. Alpha is here and because I'm going to copy it down, I lock it. Multiplied by forecast plus alpha and lock it multiplied by actual and then enter and now I can copy it down if you want to see the formula insert equal to for more text If I was going to do moving average, for example, five period moving average, I would have gone to period six because until period five, five period moving average is not available. And when it becomes available, we will use it for period six. So I write equal to average, average of five periods, one, two, three, four, five, and we set it as I forecast for period six, and these are our forecasts for all those periods. What I teach from now on is exactly the same as what I taught for moving average. Let me delete this. So I have forecast and I have actual. I go and compute. Equal to actual minus forecast and then its absolute value when I cannot click on a cell I go somewhere else and then I come up or go down and then e2 equal to e to the power of 2 and then absolute value of e divided by actual these are what i need to compute mat mse and mape so i mark this and i go down here i get something like this in order to avoid it i'll go over there and i type if error if error 
comma nothing quotation mark quotation mark and then I copy down those strange things will go away now I come here I need to compute mad equal to average average of this one to itself and I lock the first one for enter and I copy it down now if I copy to the right it is not what I want because for example here that is summation of those three columns here that is summation of those two columns because I shouldn't make this one fully absolute I can make it absolute on 8 to make sure that every time I should start from 8 but I remove dollar in front of E and then I copy it down and then I copy to the right now everything is fine for tracking signal I will go and say equal to summation of this one to itself and I put a I can put a dollar here or I can put a dollar over there and dollar here because I'm not going to copy to the right that is the summation of the arrows I can copy it down but that is not enough I should also divide it by mad and that is mad enter and I copy it down again to remove these things I'll go here and type if error and if error comma and then I copy it down so I'm done with all of this let me go to the next page next page is what I have it here this is forecast, this is MAD, MSC, and MAP. And this is my alpha, suppose it is 0.5. I go to solver, data solver, and I click on MAD, which is here. And then I say, please improve MAD by changing alpha, alpha, and we want to minimize it, not maximize, minimize it. Solve. And the optimal value we get for alpha to minimize MAD is this value 14, 9, 5 something. I can also go there again, data, solver. Instead of clicking on mad this time i click on msc and solve okay and then it will find this one for msc copy bring it here home paste the special and that's it now next time i can do the same data solver and this time I do it for MAPE, which is this one. I'll go back up. So, and solver finds all values. Now I come here, clear. I go here type 0, I come here type 0.1, I come down equal to this 0 and then equal to this 0 plus that point 0.1 and lock it a 4 and then copy it down. So you have everything then come here equal to, you can put it equal to MAT, MSE or MAP, all of them work. So I put it equal to math first this cell 
should be one to the right and one to the north of this zero. Then I mark it and I go to data. What if analysis data table, it says, what is it? Have you typed it in a row or in a column? I have typed it in a column. What is it you have typed it in a column? It is alpha, correct? Then, okay, and these values appear. I go here and I type equal to minimum of these numbers. Enter. Nice. Mark these numbers. Home. Conditional formatting. Highlight. Equal to if any of these is equal to this minimum, paint it. Okay. So it is painted. It is point 0.1. So it could be from point, from zero to point two. I'll go here and I type zero is over there. Point O two, delete, enter. It's around point sixteen. So I go to point fourteen, and then with a smaller fraction, I go up. It is around point. 15, I go over there and type 1.48 and I come here and I type 0001, enter, 0002, enter, it's about here. I was able to find it with a large number of decimal points. We can do the same for MSE. Enter. So MSC is about 0.15. I go over there, 0.15, and then 0 0.01, 0 0 0.02, 1.52, 1.52, 0.001. 0 .001 0.001. So let's make this one 153, 154, 1549. So you should gradually go there. I set it equal to 0, equal to 0 0.1. Instead of this one, now I go and set it to MAPE, which is here. So I make this one point o, o 0.001, it is here, point o 0.04, point o, o 0.01. And then point o 0.047, point o 47 and point oh, 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 002 enter. So gradually you can find it with any decimal point that you may like. So you see the whole story was not that much. If you were not able to follow anything that I have discussed it here, please let me know, I will explain. I try to make it minimum such that you quickly <laughs> watch it and you have learned 50% of the material that we have covered in the past three weeks. Good luck. Don't forget, watch the lectures, solve the problems. See you in class.